today we're gonna grab some canned artichokes, truly one of the best hidden treasures that you can find at most supermarkets and create an extraordinary recipe. We're talking Spanish artichoke fritters. These are known in Spain as pinuelos de alcachofas. Let me tell you, these fritters have a beautiful light crispy texture on the outside with an incredible pop of goodness in the inside. They're made with the simplest ingredients and the best part, it's all done in about 20 minutes. Folks serve these fritters as a tapas appetizer like they do in Spain or even as a side dish. Either way, this is what honest home cooking is all about. Really quick before we start, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Phil Sagara, Tommy Williams, David Machado, Jim Schaller, and Barbara Eastman. Hey guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm gonna crack in one egg into a large bowl and whisk the egg together. Then we'll add in one third cup of milk, which is 80 milliliters and whisk the milk with the egg until it's well mixed together. For this recipe, I'm using low fat milk, but you can also use full fat, non-fat, or even a plant-based milk. Once the milk and egg are well mixed, I'm gonna slowly add in half a cup of all-purpose flour, which is 60 grams, while whisking it continuously. And let me tell you, by adding the flour in this technique, instead of dumping it all in there at once, it's gonna ensure that you end up with a beautiful creamy batter. Once all the flour has been added, we'll add in one teaspoon of baking powder, which is about five grams. And we'll give it one final mix until everything's well mixed together. As for the rest of the ingredients, I'm gonna add in one small onion that's been finely chopped, two cloves of garlic that have been roughly chopped, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams, and half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is half a gram. Then we'll finely grate the zest of half a lemon, making sure to avoid that white pith as it adds a bitter flavor. And season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. And for the final ingredient to add into the batter, we have the star of the show. I'm gonna drain a can of artichoke hearts into a fine sieve and rinse them under some water. The size of the can that I'm using is 14 ounces, which is about 400 grams. Then we'll add the artichoke hearts over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. And then cut each one into small bite-sized pieces. Then we'll add the artichokes into the batter and we'll give it one final mix until everything's well mixed together. And that's the exact texture you want from your batter. If you see that yours is too thick, add in some more milk in there and vice versa if it's too thin, add in more flour. Either way, this is a very forgiving batter, meaning even if you don't have it right on the money, you're still gonna end up with delicious fritters. For the final step, let's start cooking them up. I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat. Important to use a medium heat here, nothing higher, otherwise the fritters can brown too quickly on the outside and not fully cook in the inside. And I'm gonna add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 120 milliliters. You can use whatever oil you like here. It's just extra virgin is what's typically used as it gives the fritters a beautiful lift of goodness. Link where you can get the Spanish one I'm using for this recipe in the description box below. Once the olive oil is nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it hasn't lost any of its beautiful flavor, we'll start adding in spoonfuls of the batter. And you wanna make sure all the fritters are evenly spaced out and in a single layer, so cook this in batches to not overcrowd the pan. And we're gonna go for about four to five minutes per side here, or until the fritters are golden fried. And as you finish each batch, transfer them into a dish with paper towels. And once again, you wanna go for about four to five minutes per side here. Once 
once all the fritters are fried up, this dish is ready to go. I'm going to transfer them into a serving plate. And garnish with some lemon wedges. Check it out. Buñuelos alcachofas. Beautiful Spanish artichoke fritters. Easy to make. The simplest ingredients. And all done in about 20 minutes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. Once again, folks, buñuelos alcachofas. Look how beautiful these turned out. Can't wait to try it. Here we go. Absolutely delicious, but first things first, you got that light crispy texture on the outside and the inside packed with so many great flavors with that artichoke really shining through. You saw this super easy to make, basic pantry staples, like seriously, we used to uh, canned artichokes and create such a beautiful dish. Give it a try at home, and I promise that first taste, you're gonna get hooked on these fritters because they're so good. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon, that we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.